Hi everybody. Thanks for joining in. Thanks for watching. Um, following on on my last video about uh, playing in different keys, uh, I'm going to make a series of really short videos. I know, not like me, uh, pfft, nice and short, um, to actually uh, introduce you to several different keys. Um, one of the questions I've been asked is to explain the difference between a major and a minor key. Now, there are different ways to explain this. Um, you could do it the difficult way, um, which is usually done in music theory or anything like that. Um, if you play a minor key, the third note is uh, flattened and notes three, six and seven is flat and whatever else. But I'm not going to do that. The easiest way to learn the difference between a major and a minor key is to learn the major key and then get used to the relative minor key. Sounds complicated. Hang on. Hang in there. As we all know, the key of C major, let's start with that, um, consists of eight notes. Any major key consists of, or major and minor key, consists of eight notes. Key of C is of course C, D, E, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Major key. Now, the easiest way to learn the difference between a major and a minor key is to actually learn the major key and then play the relative minor. Again, this sounds quite complicated. Every, every major key has a relative minor key. Let's start with playing the key of C major. C major. We know how to play that, we know all the notes, etc. But now we're going to play the same notes, only we're going to start and finish on an A. So there's actually the major key, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So now we're going to start two notes earlier, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. So that's why it's called a relative minor key. So C major, the relative minor key to C major is A minor. I hope you can get this in your head. So. We play the same notes as we do in a C major key, only now we're going to start and finish on an A. Let's do this. C major. Two notes down. And then we end up in the A. Now we're going to play A to A. And what do you get? A minor. If you want to play minor keys, get used to this. So instead of C being the root note, the A is now the root note. Same notes, still don't use your slider, but the A is the minor, uh, sorry, the relative minor key to C major. And in my next videos, I'm also going to do this with other keys. So G major, E minor, they're the same keys, you know, um, etc. So D major, would be B minor and, and things like that. So the major key, as long as you can play that, then you go two notes to the left and you have the minor key. 
get this into your head. Right. So, and if you want to, please just play away, fantasize in the key of A minor. Play, improvise, and just listen, listen carefully to the notes that you're playing. And you will find automatically that a minor key sounds different. It sounds more melancholic. It sounds even a bit sad, I suppose you could say. Why is that? And again, that's all to do with theory. The third, sixth and seventh notes are flattened and blah, 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 blah. But let's not get into music theory. Just the way to learn a minor key is just go to the major key and then you move it two notes to the left and you play with that. And you get the minor key, the relative minor key even. Um, right, so again, just the same with major and minor. A minor key sounds different. It has a different character. And that's all to do with the order in which the notes are played is different. The distances between each note is different. Now, you don't need to go into a lot of music theory at all to understand this. The best way to learn this and the easiest way is just to experiment. Go and play A to A. Play those two, play that scale A to A. Don't use a slider, just use the same old, the same normal notes that you would use for C major. Get this into your head, and it's all to do with listening to yourself, listening to how a minor key sounds different from a major key. A major key sounds um, maybe a bit more. Uh, jolly, um, a bit more straightforward. Um, I don't know how you want to call it. Find your own, find your own terminology for it. Whereas a minor key is actually sounds quite melancholic and a bit sad, and it actually has more depth, I think. So the best way to learn the difference between a major and a minor key is start with a major key, play that and then you move it two notes to the left. Actually, the difference officially is a note and a half. So, C, A. The distance between A and C is actually a note and a half, or three semitones. So that's how you can also figure out what is the relative major, sorry, relative minor key to, for instance, G, G major. Again, G major, you go three semitones below and you end up on the E. So the relative minor key of G major is E minor. G major, and then you go down. Sounds completely different. It has a dip different feeling. So, play along. Try. Try to improvise, play something in A minor, start and finish on A. Just play the scale up and down a few times and then see if you can find a certain tune in there somehow. An A to A or A minor, just put the accents on 
the major notes as you would normally so one on the first note the a gets the most accent that's the root note i don't know if this is all gobbledygook or whether this makes sense but try it please try it and the easiest way to learn the difference between a major and a minor key is to start experimenting with the relative minor so get your major get your major key then you move two notes minor key relative minor um you can actually approach this in a different way do all the theory on it and oh which note needs to be which and etc um i don't know if you want to do that but uh, really the easiest way to learn the difference between major and minor is to start playing in C major and then you play in A minor and listen to the difference between those two. I hope this helps. I really hope. Just have a go. Just have a go. Improvise. Play something. Be great, honestly. And it opens a, just a new little hidden world somewhere that you probably haven't discovered before have a go and i hope this again makes sense um again in the next i'll do i'm now going to do uh, maybe not today um but just a, a series of short videos um where i discuss not only the major key so i'm going to discuss how to play say the key of G major, but I'm also going to add E minor to that. So G major, E minor, or D major, B minor, and so on. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to do videos about every single key there is in the world. All the 12 keys, that's not necessary. Most people, if you know about maybe three, four keys, if you can manage to play three or four different keys, that's enough. And from there, that will start to sink into your head. And then you can work out the other keys yourself by listening to the notes you're expecting to hear, etc. So, have a go. Just experiment, improvise, play something, and play something in major and play something in minor. I hope this helps. Thanks very much.